this is Master Kane, come with another deck profile build for you guys. This one is a little bit different than my standard decks that I've been building in the past and working on and having. But this is my, um, you know, it seems pretty effective. This is my Sylvan plant based deck. I've got so far two Sylvan Churub Sprout. Um, correct me if I pronounce that wrong. One star monster. Basically, if it's special summoned, I can choose one or two and excavate that many cards from the top of my deck and send any plant type monster to the graveyard. And if this guy is sent to the graveyard by um, being sent there by, by the deck, from the deck, I can special summon level one plant from my um, special summon level one plant. Then I've got so far three Sylvan Guardiok. He's pretty effective. I can choose one, two, three, excavate plant type monsters, etc. I'm not going to go into huge detail because I don't know fully how these guys work yet. But mm, I've got three, three of them so far. He looks effective. And then so far I've got one stuff on Lotus Swan. Once per turn I excavate number of cards on top of my deck. Um, equal to the number of monsters my opponent controls and send any excavated plant type monster to the graveyard. And place the other cards on the bottom of my deck. But if this card is excavated from the deck and sent to the graveyard, I can target up to five Sylvan cards in my graveyard and return them to my deck. And then, because I sent so many plant type monsters to the graveyard, I thought this would be effective. Three intercept tomatoes. I send excavated plant type monsters to the graveyard, don't I? So, therefore, if I send him to the graveyard, big deal. I get attacked, they banish him, negate and attack, so it works in my favor either way. Then I've got Mount Sylvania, pretty self-explanatory, the fill spell for the deck. Then, this one might seem a little weird, but with, with draw power and being able to choose what cards you get, offering to the Doom, destroy a monster, um, destroy one phase up monster, and skip my next draw phase, which that could help me in multiple ways. Then, to help recycle my deck some more, Pot of Benevolence, I can target up to two cards in my graveyard, because a lot of these cards return Sylvan based cards. But if I don't have cards that are not, not necessarily Sylvan based, I can still recycle them. Then I got Seed Cannon, each time a plant type monster is summoned, I place one counter on it, maximum five. And then I can, and whenever I want, I can destroy this card and do 500 damage times the amount of to, um, counters I have. So maximum of five, 2,500 damage for so many monsters. Then I've got three Fragrant Storm. With this card being able to choose what monsters are on top of my deck and which ones I can have whenever, I can pop a plant type monster on the field. And if I, later on you'll see I can turn my opponent's monsters into plants and then draw a card and if it's a plant, draw another card. Adds great destruction and draw power for this deck. Then I've got Miracle Fertilizer. Help special summon from the graveyard if I have to. Then I've got three Sylvan Water Slide. And then so far I've got one Sylvan Blessing. Then I've got two Polynosis. This card's good. I can tribute one plant time monster to negate the activation of a spell, trap card, or normal or special summon monster and destroy it. So I can tribute someone weak like this and then basically stop anything my opponent would do in that turn. Then I've got, yeah, like I said, a minute ago, Ivy Shackles. So I could turn my opponent's monsters on my turn into plants. Blossom Bombardment. When a plant time monster I control destroys the opponent's monster by battle and sends to the graveyard, inflict damage to the opponent equal to the monster's original attack in the graveyard. Even monster destroyed monster attack, so it doesn't necessarily mean original. Then I've got Metal Morph to add a little bit of a little power boost to this deck. 300 and then half of my, monster, my opponent's monster's attack points. Then, to prevent my opponent from playing any tricks on me, or using a flip effects, light of intervention, stopping flip effects and um, preventing them from throwing any surprise monsters out of me. Then for the extra deck, I've so far got one 
Aurea, the Sylvan High Arbiter. And then I've got Alsaya, or I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but the Sylvan High Protector. Basically, I wouldn't want to go into the woods with these guys guarding it. <laughs> anyway, that's my Sylvan deck so far. Comment and tell me what you thought about it. What cards you think might help with draw power, with some power, what, what some Sylvan I might not know about. Um, yeah, and tell me what you guys think. And like this video, comment under this video, and subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day. This is Master Kane, out.